Hello everyone, this is just going to be a, I would say, a short video. I don't know how long this video is going to be, and I haven't, but I mean, it's more a script. It's just for my thoughts about the PlayStation 5 reveal. Um, obviously, I don't really talk about PlayStation or Xbox much on this channel, but I thought it's a big enough event, I want to talk about it. And because it's my channel, it's my rules, so you're going to have to accept it if you like it or not, well, I guess, yeah, but I want to just, it's not necessarily anything bad or good, it's just me wanting to talk about my impressions of it, um, um, so, yeah, I have to be honest, I really like the look of the console, it's <laughs> just, first thing I want to say, the console looks really cool, if I was going to, I don't know, I might get it, I'm not sure, but, um, I do like the, if I was going to get one, I would get the physical one, because I like physical copies of games, However, I'm already going, I'm going really quickly already with this stage, um, but how, however, why, but I do think the, um, I would go physical, I, I don't know if the, um, I'm assuming physical can play digital games as well, but I don't know if it's certain, but I think it's, I personally really, I like physical games, I, I, and so I, digital, I don't mind, and I get why people would want to go with it, and especially it's very likely it's going to be cheaper than the um, physical version, but we don't know for certain that I will, though, not be, I, if it doesn't allow this, um, digital games, and I think there's going to be a slight a lot of issue with um, PlayStation will probably not be in a good spot then, but yeah, I think the console overall and the games are looking really good, and I think yeah, it was a really good reveal, um, and I think some of the games I don't think they really matter, like the, the racing game at the beginning, it looks impressive, that's all I can say, and then there's the sweaty basketball game, um, I know it's got a name, I, I'm not going to... I, I was like, I'm not, I'm just going with on top of my head, I'm not necessarily going to say necessarily all the names of the games, the Ratchet and Crank, the Clank, is it Clank? I think it's Clank, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, I I like the look of it. I played a bit of the um one from the PlayStation Four, but not much of it, mainly because I don't have a PlayStation Four. I got, I played it in like I think a um like a carpet shop or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, that and I really liked it. So that is pretty. It looks pretty cool. Um, I think that's a good one. I think the um Horizon. Oh, uh, Horizon Dawn, I think is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> Names aren't my biggest, strongest point in the world at all. Um, but, um, yeah, that that game looks really good. It obviously looks like the um, PlayStation version of Breath of the Wild. Is that a bad thing? Probably not, because, well, because, well, let's be honest, Breath of the Wild won rewards for its gameplay and everything. So, yeah, I don't think that's a problem. I'm also think that, um, like, yeah, there are quite a few other games as well I like the look of, I can't think of the, the, on the top of my head, um, oh, I, I like the, um, robot, oh, it was a, it was the, um, Astrobot, that's it, I know there was one on the, um, goggles, um, that's why I was doing this, um, but, um, I say goggles, I mean VR set, but anyway, yeah, um, I decided, I, I think that looks quite a lot of fun, I know it would be a shame if Astrobot doesn't, you know, get a, another version, but I think, yeah, I, let's be honest, it looks good. Um, yeah, I haven't mentioned, but I feel the controller itself, it looks good with the actual console, but it doesn't look good on its own, it's quite weird, I think, but, yeah, I'm just wanting to point that one out, but, yeah, I'm, I think it, it looks really good so far, um... Oh, there were a few other games. I think, yeah, there was, yeah, there were quite a lot. I think the um, there were a few, there was a few like, mm, they're not amazing, but they, but they look good, and so that's fine. Um, yeah, I think, I do think there's a lot to be excited about. Um, people, I know a lot, I've heard a few people say it's like one of the massivest leaps in technology. I personally don't necessarily completely agree with that, especially when there's um when there's a 3D, um, from 2D to 3D games, like, from the Nintendo, Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64. Okay, yeah, there was some 3D games in the Super Nintendo game, sort of, because of the uh, Super FX chip, like Star Fox, but they weren't actually 3D, they just kind of gave the illusion of 3D, but, um, whatever, <laughs> I think 
to be honest, I'm I don't con I didn't re I considered the sixty four to the um that as like the biggest jump in game hardware and stuff. With the console side, obviously the handheld side is a bit different, but like I would oof, I don't know what would be the biggest jump with that, but yeah, I think like, the Game Boy Advance was a quite a big jump, but obviously I guess also it was a big jump that had also because the graphics and everything look good, but also it can um, doesn't need like fifty million batteries to run that because unlike some of the um, older consoles, a bit like the Game Gear, for example, being a little bit harder to you know um, play it when you have to have like five million batteries on you at every minute. But um, you know what can you say really? Um, but I think yeah. The um, PlayStation Five is looking good. I think I'm really thinking. Yeah, this could be a, potentially. It depends if you consider the Nintendo Switch part of this generation or not. I don't know how well it will stack up against the Switch, but um, in the end run game. But so far, the PlayStation Five is looking very good, and I think it's definitely a console that. So it has done a starting a very good impression. I don't know about like the um next like obviously will it how well it do against the Xbox um, Project X. Obviously we don't know much about that console still. We've seen it I think a few times. I know there was like some sort of talk about it and also they've seen done some like graphic comparison. However there are um less obviously it's struggle. It's harder to say especially when there's like we have don't know any exclusive games while well, PlayStation we know tons of um, but yeah I don't know how easy it compared to but I think I think Microsoft needs to start showing stuff or else they should be quite worried about the market because I don't think if they don't show anything soon they they may have lost this console generation but yes the um I think though when it compared to the Switch, even though I'm not sure if it counts as this or next this generation or last generation of consoles, because it came like halfway through, so it's like um, 0.5 gen. So, but yeah, um, but be I like I know that Watch Mojo considered it or um, like this new generation of consoles, but I consider it as last generation of consoles. But whatever, what I think. I don't, I'm not worried for the Switch, I think it will do fine, I don't think it's going to massively affect, because I think, A, the Switch is going for quite a different audience, and also because um, I'm imagining the price will be a lot cheaper on the Switch, but I can't guarantee that, obviously. Um, but I am thinking, though, the, um, yeah, I do think, though, that that is one more fear that I do have, I think the um, PlayStation 5 hasn't told us the price yet and I think that is a slight concern I don't think it's a massive one but I think they need to say about a price sooner or later because they talked about all these amazing things but we don't know what the price is going to be so if they don't tell we like it could be 500 well five there's very likely it's gonna be a 500 pound or I don't know dollars five I think five hundred dollars I think they've been people have been saying I don't know in pounds that would be but it'd be let's just say maybe four fifty pounds but whatever what it's gonna be expensive it may but I think I think if it goes too much more it might be overpriced and that is a slight concern obviously because you know stuff and that's another reason why I think the switch would be fine because obviously the pricing will probably be very different with it but um that's one concern I do have. Another one is that obviously they've been talking about all these other things. We don't know when the game, the console, come out, but I think there have been rumors of shortages, and that could also not be very good. I think, like always, it's, they've done a good first impression of the um, PlayStation Five, but I don't know. They need to tell us um, like more about price and other things may and also when it'll be releasing cause they've already said it's releasing this year um at well they say holiday or winter so yeah it's going to be likely around that point but 
we don't know. <laughs> it's, I think we'll, we'll see anyway. Um, I think if, I personally think if Sony can't, um, you know, they if they can't, um, like, if they're going to have too many shortages on consoles and stuff, I do think they should be pushing it back, but we'll see. They may not, and it may just be a rumour. I think, I've also heard that the PlayStation 5 also does backwards compatibility. Um, I'm, I don't know if that's true, I'm, but I've heard from places that it is, so if that is the case, that is definitely a thing, and it means also the PlayStation 4 is irrelevant at this point in time. Um, so yeah, it's good, these little things are good to know. Um, I think that's mostly it, I think most of the, um, it's most, I think overall, the PlayStation 5 has done a really good impression, um, with all these new exciting games, and also, and returning franchises, so until Crash Bangacoot comes out, or gets revealed, I guess, uh, first thing they need to reveal it, and, t and, and we don't know if it is going to come to the PlayStation 4, but, um, or 5 even, but, um, I'm going to get the name right, wrong at some point, anyway, the, we don't know if the PlayStation, if Crash Bangacoot's coming out, but when it does, that will be the killer game in my opinion, because I love Crash, I think also Ratchet and Crank will be probably... Is what I'm quite excited for. Oh, and Spider Man! That's another game that I've been f thinking about. I'm quite. I really. I haven't played the original one, but I really want to. And yeah, considering this is going to have Miles. Um, Mo Morales? Is that it? Because I know it's like. Miles Morales? Is that it? I don't know. Anyway, I always think of. Um, Tails' real name. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very. I think it looks really. The game looks really good. I can't. Um, I, I, there's, yeah, there's just enough, yeah, the game looks good, and I think that is going to be a, one of the better games on the PlayStation 5, especially because if it's anything like the one on the PlayStation 4, and actually that PlayStation 4 one looks also really beautiful, so, you know, I think, I'm not worried for the PlayStation 5 um, for now, and I think it's going to do really well. Will it be the best console of this generation? It's hard to tell, obviously, because even if it has a good um, first time and stuff we don't we don't know obviously what's going to be happening in the future and also we don't know I, I obviously don't know the technical standpoints on like um how like how easy it's to make games fall because obviously it's going to be more difficult than some other consoles like the switch is probably quite easy in a lot of ways because it's not as powerful but i don't know for certain but we'll see but yeah, what can we? What can I say? Really, I'm very excited. I'm quite ex really excited. I'm looking forward to seeing more about it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And Rara is very excited about it too. And we're gonna wave goodbye. Oh yeah, one last thing that's completely not related to um, PlayStation Five. I don't think. Well, it might be coming out. I'm not sure. Um, it's really cool that they're remaking um, Alex Kids because. Obviously, that was Sega's original mascot. They haven't barely made any other games other than Sonic for the last 25 million years. So, it's really good that um, they are that them, like using some of the old franchises. And I just say, I know it's been a bit more sooner than 25 million years. But, you know, it, there have been a few other games as well that Sega's made. But not many. <laughs> they need to make more of their older games. Because like, I think they're a lot. some of them are really underappreciated and... They could be look really. They could be really good on modern hardware. They're also Fantasy Star Online. Is it two or three? I'm not sure. But um, that game looks also really good. And and that, I know that's also on the Xbox. But yeah. I, but I think I think I don't think it's coming to PlayStation that game. But yeah, that is a, looking a very good game as well. Because I I played the uh, bit of the original one on the Dreamcast and. Yeah, I sadly couldn't get the full experience because of the not much internet. I know there is a way, but that's not the point. I haven't got internet on my Dreamcast, I, and I know there are ways, but, you know, I I don't at the moment. But I think it's quite, it looks really uh, cool, and I'm really glad they're remaking that franchise. I'm glad Sega are trying out some of their older franchises. Now, I really want them to do some of the um, fewer more in it. Is a school skill ones maybe maybe Echo the Dolphin that'd be quite cool maybe in three D that would really like that'd be quite fun um oh yeah and but yeah I could be talking about Sega as well for a while but anyway thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it um there I haven't got much else to say so goodbye everyone.